Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I wanted to do a refresher course on how I update my modded XML and JSONs um, for uh, community servers for PC and console to the latest versions of Daisy. So, for example, at the time of recording this video on the 21st of August, uh, we currently got 121 live. Um, but 122 is just around the corner. It's on the experimental servers and it could well be going live this week or probably next week. So I want to have my boosted loop files ready so people can use them. Um, so in this example, what we're going to be looking at is how I update my DAISY 121 Chernerous boosted loop complete vehicle servers for PC and console. And the way that these work is if you have a vanilla server set up, you download these files. Download you, you unzip them, you unload the files on top of the existing files that are already on the server, restart, and then you'll have things like more weapons, more food, complete vehicles, that sort of thing. Now, with 122, a load of new bags are coming, so I need to add these in. Um, and the way that I do this is I compare the 121 vanilla files with the 122 vanilla files, look for the differences, and put the relevant differences that I'm interested in into my files and update them that way. So in order to do this, and I'll put links to all of this stuff in the description below this video, you're gonna need a copy of Notepad++ or at least a text editor that is capable of comparing um, documents. With Notepad++, if you haven't set it all up already, you'll need the compare plugin installed and working. You'll also need a copy of the vanilla 121 file. So at the moment of recording this video, the uh, on the DAISY Central Economy uh, repository it's the 121 file so again I'll put a link to this and so to get these you just click code um, download zip extract them and you'll have a copy of them and in this case we're going to be looking for the daisy offline plus ones um, however if you're looking at this video you know a few days after 122 has dropped this will have probably been updated to the 122 files which is good because you are going to need them and you can click on code and you can download them and then you'll have the vanilla 122 files um, however if, if that does happen and you and you haven't got a copy of the vanilla 121 files you go over here to releases and you click on that and this will then say you know stable update 121 you download the source code zip you extract it and that will then give you the 121 files however at the moment obviously there's no 122 files here so how do you get them well you need to have a copy of steam installed on your computer and you go to your library and you install the daisy experimental server and this will have the latest 122 files so you install that and then you go to your computer where you've installed it um, and then if we have a look so for example here uh, it, on my computer it's under program files x86 theme steam apps common here's daisy server experimental so i click into this i can click into missions Chernus plus and here we have all of the JSONs and XMLs that I'm interested in specifically types to start off with and then also on my computer what we have is if we go up um, we then have the um, uh, vanilla 121 files so I always keep a copy of these I've already downloaded them so 121 vanilla so there's that there and we go to central economy uh, Daisy Offline Channel Plus DB. So there we go. So we've got a types for um, one two one, and we've got a types for uh, one two two, which is the experimental. Now the other classic, the other thing you need to have is, I think you need to have a structured way of doing this. So the way I do this is that my previous set of files, so which have been one two one Chernerus Stealth Hunting Efficient, I make a copy of of that. I make a new folder and I put it here. So this is all the old files and they're ready to go. And importantly, I have a README, and the README lists all of the things that should be happening with this um, server. Uh, with these server files and so I can use them as a checklist that once I've done the update I can then throw these things into the experimental server and I can go around the server using an admin tool just to check everything's working um, it also means I can add things like latest 122 items added lots of bags and you'll notice there that it says tier system that's because with 122 they are introducing a few new things um, and a tier system for bags um, a tier system for melee weapons and they're also introducing that I haven't written down here um, the level of fullness things like 
generators and um, jerry cans should have um, in terms of the, f the fuel that should be inside them. Um, and that's something else, something that I'm, I'm probably going to add in, but I'm not quite sure quite yet. And I'm saying I'm not quite sure because I'm not sure that if you don't add it in, that may well break your server when it starts to, to load in. But, but we don't do that. So that's my kind of checklist of all the things that should be happening in the server. So what I do is that's open now in Notepad++. Um, so the next thing I do is that I take my um, edited types. So this is the this is the one that sh is kind of the thing that I'm going to upload and say this is my 122. And I edit that with Notepad++. So that opens that up as well. Now I go to my vanilla files. And so what we'll do, we'll go to... Um, there's the 121. So we'll open up the vanilla types first. And then we'll go to the... Just double check. So this is the experimental types, and we open that as well. So this can get a little bit confusing. You have to go carefully. And that's why you want to be working on copies because you don't want to be, don't want to be working on the original files. So we've got our instructions. We've got what will be our one two two modded types. We've got our vanilla one two one types, and we've got our vanilla one two two types. And then what we do is just right click, and we go um, plug in. And we go compare and we let it do the stuff so it's now compared the two types and then what we have here is it kind of color codes it with the differences there are and then we've got this nav bar now i highly recommend that before you do this you go and make yourself a cup of coffee <laughs> or have a soft drink because this can take a while to do so i'm just scrolling down with my mouse so if we take the first things we've got the alice bag and what we can see here is uh, if we scroll over, that between the um, experimental server uh, 122, so the 122 version and 121 version, there's been a change in the nominal values, so less of them are spawning in. What's also true is there's a change in the flags as well. So the Alice bag black is dynamic event loot. Okay, so they've changed the black Alice bag so it'll spawn in at helicopters and trains and things like that. Alice bag camo, let's have a look at that dynamic event loop so you've got to then ask yourself on your types file um, here so if I do a search for Alice bag so that'll take me down to my one so my uh, currently on my um, boosted loops files my Alice bag I actually have more of them spawning in their 10 and they're not a dynamic event loop item so the question is do you want to change that to become a dy dynamic event loop item you know that's completely up to you so if we go back to the comparison again, we can scroll down, we can scroll down, we can scroll down. And you can, if you go to the right side, you can kind of drag this bit down to, to go over big areas. There we go. Let's find the next change almost there. Here we go. So here we have a new item, armband crook. So there must be this, I guess there was probably a new flag that appeared and they hadn't done the armband for it. Now these armbands, they are um, crafted items because they're made out of the flags um, but if you don't add them to your types if someone makes one what will happen is it will despawn quickly so this is probably something that we want to add in and if you just have a look so I know that it's below armband churnerous or, or above armband daisy so what I do is I copy this and then I go back to my what should be my modded one and then we'll go to the top and I do control F and I just go arm band churn oh okay so I haven't bothered putting that one in armband API so we scroll down it may be that I never bothered added this one in when I did this last time okay so let's say it's, it's the C's isn't it so we could then paste that in there so we get armband crook in fact what I should probably do have we got armband daisy? Oh, we have got armband chair. Ah, it because it was a. I was. It's got an underscore. Right. Okay. So let's take that out. Armband crook. Let's cut that, and let's put it where it should be between Chernerus and Daisy. It's good to keep the same format because it just makes things easier to find. So there's that one. Okay. So let's go back to the compare, and let's scroll down. I'm really looking for the bags. I want to show you the bags. 
armband will it so you do the same thing with that armband for the uh, dust um, rex so gorky right okay here we go so here we have the first of the uh, the bags armband pouch beige blah 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 so these need to be added in now we know we can see they go below armband zenit so what i can do is i can copy these like so go to my what should be my odded in fact we can scroll down because it's just going to be the end of these armbands and here we go so so press enter put a space in there press v and we've put those in so we've now added those in now what's changing you should see and you'll want to save this as you go along so we kind of save that um is that we've had it we've really got this tier system that's been added in so if we go back to the comparison and we go down to here so if we take for example the assault bag green so from vanilla one two one to vanilla to vanilla one two two what's been added is this uh tier system so the idea is that um, the developers have pushed in these smaller bags that are going to spawn uh, near the coast and towards the middle of the map um, and then they've reduced the bigger bags and pushed them sort of to the, towards the higher tier places so towards the northwest of the map with the idea that you can't have a massive bag to start off with and you're gonna you're gonna have different looking characters they're gonna have lots of things so this is the point at which you've got to decide with your modded files is do you want to add in the tier system to the bags as well if you don't add them in so for example with the assault bag green so if we go back to my um if i wanted to we could copy that can we if we copy assault bag green like that go to my types do control f and then do control v and find assault bag green so i have on my uh, modded files 10 assault bag greens spawning in okay so in the vanilla files though in the vanilla 122 there's only four that spawn in and they only spawn in in tier two three and four um, so do i want to have that now if i don't add it in assault bag greens will carry on spawning in at various places you know as long as they're military locations so military tents that sort of thing around them they'll still still start spawning in all over the place now in my particular case for this particular thing what i'm going to be doing is i'm not going to be adding the tier system because the feature of my uh files uh these ones is that they're the idea is they make daisy a little bit easier to play you know um, it's a quality of life improvement um and people i want people to be able to find the kit they want to find and then they can go off and they can have the adventures they want to have um, and learn daisy um, without having to have some of the extra hassles so personally in this particular case for these particular set of files i'm not adding them in however i do offer um reduced loot files as well and what i will be doing with them is i will definitely be including the tier system for that um and the reason for that is because i want it to be more difficult and i want people to have that a harder vanilla experience but that's a decision you're going to have to make as you go along uh, and do that and basically you go along and you, you do that and what you'll find is there'll be things that you want to change and things that you don't want to change so there'll be things like here right okay here we go so we've got the next one so this is very interesting so as you can see between the 122 file on the right and the 121 file on the left the quant min and quant max has changed now what it used to be is when a can of gas a canister gasoline the jerry can fuel can spawned in it would be full of uh, gas when it would always be full but what they've done is they've changed it now so that you can just like with canteens and with water bottles you can now say how much fuel should be in there in terms of percentage between a minimum and a maximum so a canister of gasoline um, can have between 30 and 70 percent full so you can choose that so what i will do is i am going to use this so i'm going to copy that and we're going to look for canister gasoline so we go back to my types and do a control f canister how many canisters are there all right there we go um and then over the top of quant min quant max i'm going to paste that in now because mine is a boosted loot server I'm going to change that to 80 and change that to 90. So when they do spawn in, they're actually going to spawn in with quite a lot of stuff in them. And we'd save that as we go along. 
go back to here, close that down, and so on and so forth. So now we've got the canvas bag medical. So again, they go below the canteens. So we will just copy that. Go to my types. Do a control F for canteen. There they are. Press enter there, paste them in, and there we go. And then we can save that, and so on and so forth. Um, and so it's quite a simple process to go through, but it's quite consuming. And my tip would be, do your types first, because your types is always the longest one. So in my case, I have types. Messages probably doesn't change. Global might change a little bit, but it's really small. Events might change, but it's pretty small. Spawnable types is one of the bigger files. Um, so what will be in there is perhaps maybe the bags if they're uh, changing the, how much uh, damage they have when they spawn in, but no, maybe not. And event spawns may may have something or may not have something in, but they're all much, much smaller. Types is the one that could take you an hour, two hours to go through. So break it up as you're going along. Now, when you get to the end though, and you have done it, it's very, very important that you validate your files as well. So where you want to go, is you want to go to a uh, xmlvalidation.com and what this will do is this will tell you if you've made any spelling errors as you're going through it won't capture every sort of error because there's some errors where you can do everything you can get the code right but something within the code isn't quite right in the way that you've done it for example um, i had a great error on one of my uh, servers where in the flag section here i had done it so that everything was zero and what that meant is, and it was four flags actually, well some of the flags, and what that meant was the game wasn't counting how many flags there were, it just kept spawning them in. And so the server just slowly started to fill up with flags. And the XML validator wouldn't pick that up because it's just like, well, you know, that's what you wanted to do, so you can carry on and do it. So you've got XMLvalidation.com, and then if you're doing your JSONs, you have uh, JSON format, formatter and validator as well. So I'll put links to those in the description below the video. So there we go. That is how I compare my files. It's a time-consuming process, um, but you get better at it. Um, and uh, you know you sit there with a cup of coffee go through the files choose what you want to take across um and uh, that's it really okay so hopefully this has been useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon